Well, shooters and reloaders out there, Fortune Cookie 45 LC coming to you from the Hot Lead Zone. And today's video is actually kicked off because of some threads that came in from Archer's friend and also Walter Bunning and William Wilson. What we talked about were some of the comprehensive nature of the shooting sports and the fact that the subjects for videos is limitless and inexhaustible. So let you have a peek at the strategic plan for the hot lead zone which was developed five years ago before my channel hit YouTube. And the idea behind this part of the plan is to form a basis for all the videos we're going to do in the hot lead zone and therefore we have to have a kind of a breakdown, uh, an equation, a formula that encompasses the shooting sports and all the topical matter will spin off of this formula, this equation. This is a mathematical progression that's been set up to cover all the shooting sports. The basic formula equation is at the top of the screen and on the left hand side of the equal sign you see the output and that is accuracy plus power plus safety equals ammo plus gun plus shooter. Now that may sound very simplistic but it includes the whole science of ballistics internal, external and terminal. But it's more than that. So you see accuracy is hitting the intended target or it can be defined as precision and repeatability and it's got measurements, it's got a, a definite metric to it. So you can have minute of angle, you can have group size, you can have pattern density for shotguns. Accuracy hitting the intended target. Now, power means the ability to do work. And that, of course, is important because it doesn't do any good to hit the target with a feather. So, there you have the expression of power in foot-pounds or power factors or pellet energy or depth of penetration, this kind of thing. Power. And then, of course, safety. Because without safety, Everything is null and void. What safety is, is not hitting what you don't want to hit. So go ahead and scan these three outputs and you see how comprehensive even this part of it is. So now let's look at the right side of the equation and what gives us accuracy, power, and safety. And that is ammo plus gun plus shooter. Now when it comes to ammo, of course, we have to get information, education, and training. Whether we're just using ammo or whether we're making ammo, we need to have data and that's important to accumulate that. So there's factory and reloaded ammo. And the consistency and goodness of that ammo is dependent on the quality of components. And there you see all the components that were very aware of when we're doing all of our reloading or ammo buying. But then the consistency and goodness of our ammo is also dependent on the quality and care of assembly, whether the factories do it or whether we do it ourselves. And that requires equipment, technology, and reloading techniques. All very comprehensive topics. Then the ammo has to be able to merge and interface with the guns that it's going to be used with. So you have ammo plus gun plus shooter. So the ammo has to interface with the gun. And that causes consideration for overall length of chamber, the fit to magazines, and also to allow guns to function. Now the discussion of gun and guns is also just as comprehensive and limitless and inexhaustible because you're talking about information, education, and training on guns and the fact that guns are factory stock 
they're custom or modified. The guns are rifles, handguns, and shotguns of all kinds of different action types. And then to allow power, we have strength of construction, materials used to construct, whether it's polymers and alloys and all this kind of thing. And look at how many different kinds of sighting systems there are. So you have scope sights and you have reflex sights and red dot sights and iron sights, which are open sights or aperture sights. You have sighting rails, mounts. You have the tang sights, all of these kind of things. Very comprehensive, just sights alone. But not just that. You have the accessories and gear that come along with guns and the way that guns interface with bullets and shot and that requires the discussion of rifling types and rifling twist and with shotguns you have chokes that are fixed or tubes and what they do uh, we haven't even touched on those yet so a lot of videos can be generated on those then guns interface with the shooter and that talks about the subject of ergonomics, technology, the fitting of stocks, the quality of the trigger allows the gun to interface with the shooter, the shooter to the gun. You have trigger reach, comfort, and then lock time, of course. And lock time is especially important for the flintlock shooters out there. Now, when it comes to the shooter, it's all about marksmanship. And marksmanship requires information gathering, data, education, training. And there's a physical aspect to marksmanship. Dealing with still and moving targets, trigger control, sight picture. How many times have we heard about that kind of thing? But sight picture is all about vision. And then there's the conditioning and health of the shooter. And then there's endurance and stamina of the shooter. And now these all need to be developed to a high degree if you want to be the best marksman there is. Ask the, the uh, Army Marksmanship Unit. But how important are the mental aspects for marksmanship? And that talks about the toughness of the shooter, the dedication, the determination. And uh, these are all different things. And many videos can be done on this type of subject matter. And uh, Thorzak777 knows all about some of these aspects because he deals with them all the time when he does his bullseye shooting. The marksman must be able to manage all forms of conditions, outdoor, indoor, elevation, thin air, location has a bearing in terms of where you are in relation to the tropics, this kind of thing. A shooter marksman must be able to deal with all kinds of weather, wind, and that of course is right up the alley of the bench rest shooters, mirage, same thing. And what about the rain? The trap shooting competitions are done, rain or whatever kind of weather. It's out there and got to be able to deal with the rain. Then, a whole thing about distractions, because you have distractions that are pre-shooting or during the shooting or internal, external types of distractions. And of course, the shooter has to be able to interface with a gun and there you have grip and the mounting of the gun and you have handling which has a lot to do with safety uh, and then you have practice practicing with a gun how often do you get a chance to do that and then of course the marksman must be able to interface with the ammo which means he has to know he or she has to know the the ammo that's being used practice with it a lot and reloads or factory ammo has a consideration there also so there you have it this is the shooting sports all condensed into a equation. Now, of course, strategic plans are not designed to be static documents. They are fluid, dynamic, improvable, and they grow. So I make changes on this on a regular basis. And all the videos on the hot lead zone spin off of this equation. Strategic plans are the way big business handles what they do. And it has uh, their goals, uh, their, their objectives, 
all of these things are in strategic plans. So anyway, uh, take care and see you in the next video. Bye for now.